Well, there's a lot of benefits to using airbrush makeup, and that's why I use it, um, mainly because I suffered from a lot of acne and discoloration, scars, and nobody really wants to walk around with their face scars and marked up. And stuff happens, life happens for whatever reason, um, breakouts, you may have a birthmark, you may have discoloration from the sun over time. There's so many reasons, but it all led me to using airbrush makeup. And the reason why is it just gives a nice sheer coverage that you can build as light or as heavy without looking cakey, without dirty sponges and brushes. And I really wanted something that was easy to use as well because I'm a photographer and a makeup artist. So when I was doing shoots on people and I just found that using it on myself, which I do use airbrush makeup every day because I have acne discoloration and I want something that I can layer and just be out the door and it's done. So I found it great for those reasons. But back to the kit and what you get in the kit. So um, today I'm gonna show you, um, the first half of this video I'm just showing you how to set up your gun and the second half I'll have no makeup and I'm going to do a day look and this is the night look I finished with and I'll show you how to do that. One of the reasons why Tickle Pink airbrush makeup is so great, it's aloe infused. So it's organic, it's about 86% I believe, and then the remaining products are what you have to have in there to have a makeup line so it doesn't go bad, etc. So if you're someone who's really concerned with what you're putting on your skin and you like organic products, this is another reason why this airbrush system or company is so unique. Not only do they carry gorgeous skincare, they also have um, beautiful airbrush colors, very soft and light, but as you can see I was able to layer it. But I'll show you how I did all that. Now back to the kit. Also with your kit you get two samples of their skincare. You get the Face the Day Hydrating Serum with Hydraulic Acid and you get Sweet Dream Serum with, I believe that's Argleen, I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, um, both of them are really great. I actually have tried out their skincare and a big fan of their serums. Um, beautiful stuff. So you get this cute kit once again. You get the airbrush compressor. Obviously you get the gun, the hose to, to get you up and running. And then I believe you get a choice of, um, you can choose your sample foundations. And that's what's so great about purchasing a kit. So you can get up and running in one shot. And um, I have the Chai Frappuccino and there was one other color I believe. So I think you get three colors. I have the light concealer and this is the trick to covering the dark spots and the discoloration. I put this on first once I do the skincare and then I mix my foundations. And that's what's another great thing about this line. If you don't see a color or you're weary of the color, get a light and dark and you can mix them to create your shade. So it's a little bit like art and painting. So it's kind of fun that way. Um, you don't have to be an artist or makeup professional to use this line. You just really want to solve your problem, which is beautiful skin. <laughs> so um, that's a little inspiration for you. So mixing colors is really great. The light concealer is super helpful. And you'll see in the video how I had lots of discoloration. I had really bad breakouts from the mask and um, I just kind of had to deal with it. That's life. And so it's all healing, but I've got black marks. My skin discolors quite easily. And so using the light concealer, at first it looks really light and you'll be like, oh my God. But you need that to counteract the dark pigment. And then um, I mix the Frappuccino and the Chai foundations. No, Frappuccino and, yeah, I did. And I think there was a latte that comes with this set. Um, so I mix them. No, I mix the Frappuccino and latte because those are for me more of a medium color. And then what I did was, here it is, the latte. They come in a set of three, they come with the kit. You can pick fair, medium, or dark, I believe. So you can check all that out on the website. I'll put a link down below. As well, that like the esthetician on call for 24 hours, she will answer any questions you have about the colors and she will do a complimentary skin match so you can text her a picture and she'll tell you which colors to, she recommends. So anyway, I mix those and then at the very end you'll see me going in with chai and I just pop underneath. And that's just something I do having done photos and video. Um, you don't have to use three colors. I do recommend mixing your colors. I think it's really 
great that you can perfect your own personal shade, but for me on camera, I do lighter underneath and around the mouth, as well as for the discoloration and the acne, just gives it a little pop. The trick is blending, and you have three speeds on your compressor. So you basically turn the compressor on. Oh, you also get a plug. <laughs> Forgot to tell you, I took it off to show you how to set it up. So you get a plug and the plug or the adapter simply goes in the very, very bottom. And it's just a, like a, just like any adapter to any um, electronics. You push it in, make sure it's snug and that's it. You're ready to go. So now I'll show you the three modes. So you press the on button. Well, let me plug it in first. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I have an adapter right here on my makeup table. Ah, there we go. So you have three speeds and it automatically will always go to the highest speed. So you wanna be careful of that and then use the button to the right called mode and you can alter your speed and select your speed that way. So if you're really scared of airbrush or you're new to it, leave it on the, the, on the uh, very first one. You can't go wrong, you can't make a mistake. And the rest of it is just basically how you use your lever. You're constantly pulling and pushing back and forth. At least that's how I do it. And that gives you that even coverage. So as you see, I'm just constantly going back and forth. And once you get the hang of that, it's super easy. And you basically use water on paper or paper towel to practice. And then it becomes intuitive. And these speeds help you apply the makeup. I always do my eyes on the first one because you can't go wrong and it's super soft. You don't want to do the fastest speed on your eyes because it's too much product and it can actually kind of hurt your eyes. And honestly, I think today I've mainly used the low mode and the medium mode. I cleaned out my gun by hitting the highest speed. And that's just because I wanted to, every, between every single color, you're going to use the airbrush cleaner that comes with the kit and you just, just spray a, a couple drops to clean out your colors. And one little tip or trick, um, you can pull back the lever and get yourself some pointed Q-tips and clean inside if you wanna help speed up the process. Cause you always wanna keep your equipment super clean and your gun super clean so that you never have problems with spraying. You should always be getting an even spray and it should not be spraying unless you're pulling that lever. So the back and forth motion, small circles, for foundation, as you can see I'm further away. When you're doing your acne, you'll notice that I come in close like this and I cover with the light concealer so I'm just a lot closer. But I'm always being conscious of my pressure and how much I'm doing. And like I said, if you're a newbie to airbrush and you're worried that you're going to spray too much, practice with water on paper or always set your mode to the lowest mode. And it'll naturally, as you see, as soon as I turn it on, go to the highest. So you want to just naturally get into the habit of switching your modes to where you want to go. I put it on medium to do my foundation because it was a larger area to cover and I wanted to get through it faster. And as you saw, I, did, I mixed two foundations, which is very unique to the line, which I love. And then I went in with a third one. You don't have to do that. You can use one color. This is all about tailoring it to your skin, your skin type and your needs. And that's what's so great about airbrush in general and why I prefer airbrush makeup. I use it every day. Sometimes I'll mix in other products, but if you are using this just to cover your acne, it's great. Once again, I'm just gonna recap um, light concealer, mix your shade, or maybe you're a perfect match, use your shade and you're good to go. That could be your day look. Today I showed you how to do a day and a night look. So I'll list all the products I use down below. And what else can I tell you about this kit? It also came with an eye stencil. You can purchase stencils online. And I have a little clip I'm gonna be showing on Instagram. I may try and add it into this video of unboxing when I unboxed it and how it was all packaged up in case you needed that. Um, I also have a quick start guide that came with the kit and it'll explain to you what to do. Personally, I'm visual so I like having the videos and that's why I created the videos to help you get started because I know the benefits of using airbrush products. I know the drama and the trauma of having scars and marks on your face and just trying to cover it but doing it in a way that's easy and fast and you can go on with your life. So um, this is really great. It's got their information here. If you need to contact them, like I said, you can text them off their website. There's a phone number. Um, they have other videos. 
They've got some tips and tricks in here on how to use the airbrush, how to keep it clean. You always want to use your airbrush cleaner. Do not use regular makeup foundation through your gun. It will not work. It will clog up your gun and that turns into a whole mess. And that leads me to my next very important point. Most of the companies who do airbrush makeup, and there's an amazing amount of companies out there, um, will help you with your guns, but they will charge you. So if this gets clogged up, um, you can send it in for fee. What's unique to Tickle Pink Airbrush Cosmetics, this airbrush makeup company, is that it's a lifetime guarantee. So if you have any problems with your gun, you can send it in, and they will repair it and fix it for free. There's all kinds of little tips and tricks that you may not know, but don't get overwhelmed because it's so easy to learn and there's so many videos and they will help you, guide you. Like I said, if you're just like, I don't want to deal with this, you can mail it to them and they will clean your gun and send it back. So like you always want to keep this nozzle. I just unscrewed it. Um, your tip of the needle clean and sometimes if you find it clogging, you just pinch it. And it's removing product from the very tip you put this back on, screw it on, and that's it, you're good to go. Spray water through it or spray airbrush cleaner. You can spray either of those through it and that's safe. Do not use regular makeup products through your airbrush gun. These are water-based products and depending on what kind of foundations, regular foundations you may have, um, they could be oil-based and that can wreck your gun. So you wanna use the products that are for the kit just because um, if you're new to airbrush, you can really create a real mess if you don't understand the consistencies of the product. So as you go on, you'll get better and faster at what speeds you use. You may just keep it on low the whole time. It's a safeguard, you can't go wrong. Um, like I said, the highest speed I use for cleaning, foundations I do on medium. Um, yeah, that's all you need to know really to get started. So if you have questions, you can put them down below and I always answer them and I will put all the information on the colors I used today the kit that was sent to me the information on that and I have a 15% off code for this Black Friday if you're interested in purchasing the kit and trying it out you can purchase through the link down below and you can get started with airbrush so I hope you enjoyed this little intro now let's get started with the actual makeup and I'm like I said gonna cover conceal can cover discoloration and acne with my light concealer, then I'm going to do a day look, and then I'm going to take it into this night look. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you have questions. I'm here to help. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. And I um, thanks so much for joining me. Bye. joining me. Um, as you can see I have no makeup on. I'm going to start with their moisturizer. Three speeds on this compressor. So remember to always click on the low mode to start or whatever mode you want to start in because it automatically goes to the high mode. So a quick spray and now I'm going to go in with my light concealer. You can see the marks all over my face and I'm going to go in. It, it'll look like it's too light but it works with the foundation. Trust me. So I'm just going in and covering wherever I have dark spots, um, sunspots, acne scarring. Now, as you can see, it looks way too light, but don't get scared. I'm gonna mix two colors and then I'm gonna cover that up. And also for the purposes of the camera, I did a little bit more of what I usually do. Um, I had a lot of lights on me, so, okay. And then we're gonna go in with the Frappuccino And the mocha, I use frappuccino and mocha. I thought I used the frappuccino and latte, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go in and just blend out. And I'm just creating like an even base color. Um, I'm just kind of covering that light concealer. 
couple drops. I start out slow and I build it. So this is buildable foundation. So I'm doing slow, at the, for the video I sped it up, but I'm actually doing slow circles. And you want to practice with your distance. So as you can see, I'm covering the light concealer and at the same time all the dark spots are going away. Once you, you play around and practice, you'll figure out your shade and it's great because this line you can mix your, your foundation shades to customize to you or you may just find one that's exactly the color you need. Now I'm going in with a lighter color, the chai, and I'm just going to go underneath the eyes. In the same places where I have the discoloration, I'm almost brightening and lightening around my eye, the center of the forehead, the nose and the mouth area. For me, when I brighten that, it just creates a really nice balance or contrast between light and dark and it makes me look more even. I'm going to go in with the white out and I'm going to do that on my lids. One is an eye base, but two, it, it picks up the color a little bit. Um, it's a great way to just add a little longevity to your eye makeup. It just helps it last longer through the day. And I'm going to go in with a pink. I'm going to list all the colors down below, but I'm going to go in with this nice soft pink and just do the lids. I'm creating a day look right now. So I'm keeping it nice and simple just to show you how you can just do an easy makeup look. Even though I did use a couple different foundations, that's just personal to me and how I cover my skin. You may not have the same problems and can use one foundation. I'm going in with a light bronzer because I want to add some color to the sides of my face. Just like a bronzer, I'm going to make a sun-kissed look. You don't have to use that. It's totally your preference. If you're, if you're more fair or if you don't tan, you may want to use it. It just adds a little color. I'm going to go in with the Diamond Glow and add a highlight just on my cheekbones. I'm once again playing with that light and dark. And as you can see, I'm more even. As the video goes on, my skin is getting more even and I've covered the discoloration. Love this. I'm going in with their liner, which works specific to their airbrush infused makeup product. And it comes in black and brown and it comes with a little sealer or um, brush that has a sealer. You mix it into a paste and you just apply it however thick or light you want it. And it goes on really well. I was really happy with that. And it works really well with their airbrush foundation and their aloe infused foundation. So you really want to keep that in mind to use products from the same line. As you can see, I popped in some lashes. I used the Desert Rose Blush just to add a little pop to my cheeks. And I'm using the Root Touch Up. So they have touch ups. Now I have a black brown hair and it looks quite dark on camera. And so I'm going in, I'm just doing my center part. I'm using my stencil just to like make sure I don't color my part in, then it looks more unnatural. So I'm keeping that white line. And I'm going in and just covering the grays. And it's great to do in between colors. And always wipe your stencils. You want to keep everything nice and clean with your airbrush equipment. It prevents a lot of problems. So I'm going in with the waterproof sealer now and sealing the whole look. And this is my day look. And just, it just, I love it. And it helps hold the look for 24 hours. All right, so now I am going to show you how to make a night look. I'm going in with some maroon on the corners and just darkening my eyes for a nighttime look. You may like this for a day look. It's total personal preference. As you can see, you can build it. And I've been doing airbrush so long, I can just spray freely. Um, you can use that stencil. It's got curves on it to help you create a shape. I'm going to go in underneath the eye a little bit and just create a little color. And once again, I'm just going to use that waterproof sealer to seal the look. Love it. Now I'm going to do the lips. You can airbrush your lips and I'm going in with a darker color. I originally had done a pink for the day look. And now I'm going in with a, a little bit of a darker maroon and going a little bit more into the eyes and intensifying them. And I've got my setting on low because I like to do the eyes on low. It's just a lot easier and you won't make any mistakes this way. I'm just spraying in a little of that waterproof sealer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this look and how to set up your Tickle Pink airbrush machine. It comes in this cute little kit. Um, with a black case and foundation colors that you can choose comes in a set of three. I also use the flawless finish underneath my eyes. It comes or they offer eyeliners in brown and black that work with the makeup and also a root touch up. If you're blonde, they have a shade for that. Thanks so much for watching. They're based out of Oregon and they really care about their customers and their product and that's why they create an organic aloe infused airbrush line. It's unique. There's nothing like it on the market and they really care about skincare. The owner, Kathy, um, is, uh, has a background as an esthetician 
and her and her husband had met originally um, in the prison system as prison guards, I believe, or in some kind of capacity where they worked in there. And they built this line from scratch and they worked with the lab and they created the formulas and they put their heart and soul into it. They invested all their retirement in this and this is something they've been working on for a long time. It didn't happen overnight. And so um, if you like quality people who sell quality products, this might be a great way to go. And it's worth it to get to know and to check out their website and check out their products. So you may like them. Um, and if you're a professional, you may have clients who are really concerned about organic skincare and having organic products for weddings or for special events so it may be worth it to have a few items in your kit if not a whole line and they have great prices that won't break your budget as an artist they also offer an artist discount I believe you can look into that on the site I'll list everything down below but I really wanted to mention that and give you some history on the company because it's so important who you deal with as well and right now we have so many strange things happening in the world it's just really nice to meet nice people and to work with nice people. Um, so I'm a fan. Uh, I enjoy their skincare, enjoy their products. I like their, their ideas behind it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, like I said, all the information is down below. You can drop me questions if you're interested or you can contact them. They have someone 24 hours where you, that you can text and you can even get um, send pictures of yourself if you're not sure what kind of colors. And um, yeah, what else can I tell you about them? So anyway, it's worth it. Um, I know they're running sales for Black Friday. Check them out. This video should be coming out early this week, so you have time to prep and plan and uh, check them out online and ask questions. But um, this system is great. Airbrush makeup in general is great because it's non-contact. And that's such a concern right now in the makeup industry, beauty industry, and for just individuals. So this may be something to open your eyes if you never thought about airbrush. Uh, it's non-contact, you're using a spray gun, there's no dirty brushes. Um, as a makeup artist, um, having to reinvest into new powdered products because of what's happening and still work is really challenging. So you may want to think about going into bottles where you don't have to replace the product because it hasn't touched people with a brush. And so there's lots to think about and there's lots of positives to using airbrush makeup, whether you go with this line or another. And um, it's worth it to check it out. And once again, thank you for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. And I really enjoyed doing this video for you and I hope you enjoyed it as well. All right, take care guys, stay safe.